Okay, happy Wednesday. It's after hours and we are at my house with my family. I got Palmer Jean and Alex Elaine and we're going to talk about the seed starter activity. So first off, our spring kickoff event unfortunately was canceled because we usually get a very good turnout. I mean, we, we do several things that day and we're really sad to see it go, but some of the sacrifices that businesses have to make right now. So one thing we did is if you signed up for the seed starter activity, um, you know, we, we decided that since you're not doing it on site, uh, we're providing the kit to you. And since we're not staffing it, we're not setting up for it. We don't have half as much into it as we would have, which it's not a big thing, but, uh, we wanted to provide it as something for your family to do for free. So, uh, if you signed up and you were registered, uh, it's up to you, but we're happy to issue a refund. Now you still need to come by and pick it up, which we're not encouraging um, you to come pick anything up from our store if you're not comfortable doing that. Uh, that's kind of your decision, but uh, you're welcome to it because you did sign up for it and we think it's important to teach about plants and starting plants from seed. So, um, girls, are you excited to do the seed starter activity? Yeah. Okay, well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna break apart, we're gonna get our supplies, and then we'll get started. Okay, so we're ready to do the activity now, but first let's talk about the things that we have in front of us. We have a bag of potting soil. This is the Miller Plant Farmhouse blend. We blend our own soil and use it in 99% of all of our production. We have a Jiffy strip, a six pack, with a plastic six pack that's gonna act as a carrier. Um, the, the thing about these is they break apart and they can be torn away. Um, you can pull the root ball out after the plant starts to grow and plant just the soil with the roots, or you can put the whole Jiffy in. Uh, the roots will pass through and, and grow on. And we have labels of the different seeds, and our seeds are in the envelopes. And probably the easiest way to go about this is to get a little cup and dump the seeds into a little cup. Now we're looking for six seeds and you girls sit tight. I'm going to show the seeds. We've got a snap pea. And we have, I'm sorry. A green bean, sorry, large clumsy hands. We have a sunflower, <laughs> then the marigold is really different. I mean, that guy looks like a, this is kind of gross, a fingernail shaving almost. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're doing two lettuce seeds because, I mean, lettuce is such a great thing to grow at home. It's easy, it's relatively quick, and uh, I believe we, we're going to have two kinds. Now they look identical, so, whoop. <laughs> Got them. They look identical, so... We don't know what we have till we get them, but we're just going to put the labels in and know that when one starts growing red and one starts growing green, we'll, we'll certainly figure it out. Okay, so there's our seeds. We've identified them. Now it's time to do the activity. Girls, you ready? Okay, first thing we're going to do is very neatly and in a clean way, gently fill the pots with soil. Yes, Palmer. We will in a bit. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Good job, Alex. Now smooth it out. Yep. Yep. Fill it up. Fill every every cup in that thing. Good job. All right, Pete. Put the bag aside and fill your pots and put the extra to the side. Yep, yep, yep. 
Try not to get too much dirt in your seeds because now you're going to have to hunt for your seeds. <laughs> yeah. So Palmer pushed her extra dirt into the cup of seeds and I think we can still work with that, but you know, one of the ingredients in soil is perlite and that's going to look a little bit like the lettuce seeds. So learn from our mistake. Uh, try to keep your seeds a little bit further away from the soil. So then all we do next is, girls, can you uh, pull your seeds out and in each pot, put one seed, just lay it on top. Just lay it on top for now. Good job, Alex. So that's the pea, there's the sunflower. There's the bean. I think that's a piece of perlite, but you get the idea. Uh, how about the yellow, the long skinny yellow one? Let's get the marigold in there. I think those are your two lettuce. So you've got two lettuce. Okay, can you put each of, each of those in their own pot? Where's my lettuce? Oh, you put them both in the same one, Alex. Get one of those little white ones. They look like tiny, teeny tiny eggs. Mm -hmm. Yep, and put one in there, and then put that yellow, that long yellow one, put that in here. How are you doing? Good job, Palmer. Mm -hmm. Palmer's pretty well got them divvied out. I'm gonna see, take a second and see if I can help her find her lettuce. Oh, Palmer, here's your sunflower. You did get a lettuce in. I think that's the only one you're missing, actually. I see two lettuce. Oh, there it is. There you go. You need one in there, right? I think you got them. Okay. So now we have the seeds just kind of laying on top. Now, Palmer's done this a time or two before, so she's already got them depressed a little bit. Uh, what you can do is just poke your seeds and, and just pushing them a little bit. Yes, good point. Even before we do that, now's the time to put the tags in. Yeah. Uh, thanks to my assistant behind the camera for keeping me on task and correct. So that's the snap pea. Alex, you're gonna put the snap pea. It's in, sweetie. Can you get one or this one? Right here. Uh, yeah. Yep. And here's your two lettuces. Two lettuces. One. Yep. Put that in there. Daddy, does it not matter which lettuce it is? Good job. That's this is this this is the marigold. And West. Here's your bean. Okay. These two get switched. Okay. Palmer, you're doing well. You got your marigold, your lettuce, your sunflower. You know exactly what you're doing. Your snap pea up here. And the only one left, that looks like a bean. So that's it. So now we're going to get to the part that I tried to skip to a little too quick. Is we just push them in a little bit. Can you push them in just a little bit? Not too deep. You don't want to go too deep. You know, you just quarter, half inch. And then we're just going to lightly... Just uh, tap the sides, tap the sides, and if no dirt covers over the seed, tap them a little harder. But don't make a mess, you know. And uh, and then that's it. Homer, can you tap it a little harder and get them covered up? You can also just kind of manipulate the soil around over top of the hole, and we're set. All right, so now, girls, I'm gonna borrow these so I can show the folks at home how good of a job you guys did. This is all. This is what you want. When um, when you're all done, we're basically looking at soil with tags in it. But the seeds are in there. So now after this, should we do some watering too? Daddy. What would work really well is if you can cut down your pressure, or if you have a watering can. I mean, really take this outside at this point. But you just want to gently sprinkle it. You know, don't blast it with a garden hose or anything like that. But Soak it up real good and give it a nice sunny window. These aren't ready to go outside because we're gonna have some cold nights, but give it a nice sunny spot in the house. And as the temperatures get more stable and warmer, we'll be able to go outside, put them in the garden and enjoy them all season. I hope you enjoy the exercise. Everybody's 
Make sure you wash your hands when you're all done. Hopefully you washed your hands before you started. And have a great time with your seed starter. You guys say bye. Bye.